Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first series of Mech Warrior Living Legends. Uh, to s talk about this game, I'm just going to summarize it in a sentence. Battlefield meets Mech Warrior. That's basically what it is. And I thought we'd just play a little bit. Just a little bit, you know, just to show it off a bit. So right now we're playing as a uh, little battle armor, little battle armor. If you're familiar with the Mech Warrior universe, it's basically a human in power armor suit with a jetpack and a minigun and other pieces of equipment. As you can see in the top left, we have our SRMs. We get two of those. And to the top right, we get our little, little M gun, minigun. I think that's what it stands for. So yeah, we're just going to purchase a couple of vehicles. This is a mod based off of the Crisis Warhead, Crisis 2 engine. It's a, it's a free mod. It's a good mod. Not sure if this is supposed to happen, if you can see this little graphical glitch here. But yeah, it's a, it's a good mod. I've played it a couple of times already. And yeah, you know, enough talking. Enough talking. Let's just get in the game. So you know what? You know what I like to start off as? I like to play as the vehicles. I, there are so many Mech Warrior games out there where you play as, you know, with the mechs and all that. I'm like, yeah, I could, but how many Mech Warrior games out there where you can play as a vehicle? You know, like the Harasser. I want to play as a Harasser with the two LRM 10s, long range missiles that shoot 10 long range missiles for a total of 20 because there's two of them. So I'm going to pick that because I think it's cool. I like, I like it. So we're going to do that. Let's get in the action. Get in the action, god damn it. So we can jump back around with space. Oh my god. See, this, okay, this sometimes happens where a person will, like, desync. What the? What's happening? Come back here. Thank goodness. Okay. So as you can see, we got our two LRM 10s in the top right. We can uh, change the hotkeys around or uh, say like the fire control around with the control. Control and the arrow keys. So right now I'm pressing control. So now because one is bound to the left mouse button. I'm just going to move out of the way of this guy here. So that means when I press the left mouse button, all two of my LRMs will fire at once. What is this person doing? Leave me alone, you fucking nerd. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to set it up here where I want the one key. The thing is, I'm not popular enough to uh, be harassed like this, so he's just being an idiot. So I've got... God, he won't leave me alone. Okay, buddy, get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm trying to learn how to play. Yeah, so, is he gonna leave? No, he's just gonna harass me. Okay, great. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, I think he's just trying to knock me over. Anyways, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave. So, so what's happening is we are... That's my team right there. It's the squares. Those are other mechs. So there's a huge fight over there. I'm just going to join them right now. So as I was saying before, it was really interrupted. You know, control. You can change your fire controls and have them bound to your left mouse button, right mouse button. You know, pretty simple. There are some tutorials out there. Another interesting little feature of this game, for LRMs at least, is you can crouch. Let's press well, C is your coolant. So you can press crouch. Oops. Press Z. Z is your zoom. And what crouch does, I should have uh, explained it there, is it will lower your profile of course and it will decrease the lock on time for your LRMs by I think like what 50% so it's pretty decent pretty decent so this is kinda the reason why I choose these LRMs over anything else because it's just such a nice lock on time 
So I think I'm gonna sit right here. Stop turning. So that's a, uh, oh, he's right there. No, that's a uh, ally. Come on. Okay, I wasn't crouched there. That's why I didn't lock on fast enough. So I'm gonna sit right here. Zoom in. There we go. Give him 20 LRMs. I think that should hit him. Yeah. There we go. That was an okay salvo. Okay, gonna zoom back out. Gonna go radar off here. Pressing R will put you in passive, and when you pass radar mode, people won't be able to detect you. Let's try to get into the action here. That's that X, I think, on the map. If you see on the map, there is uh, probably a turret. So, you know, because I'm in a harasser, I'm so light, I'm in LRMs, I'm going to wait for my allies to uh, um, move forward because I need that support. So I'm just going to stay with my friends, stay with everybody, look on the map, see where the combat is. Looks like it's happening in the center of the map. Yeah, it looks like he's firing on something. So I'm just going to go passive here. I'm going to use my... Uh, my orbs, my little eyeballs, just to see what's happening. I'm gonna go crouch, because if I see somebody, I want to be able to pop them quick. Where's my allies? Oh, they're over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprint here. Shift will sprint. Oh, somebody just exploded. Oh, this is a good position. Crouch, deploy. Oh, there's a guy right there. There we go. I think it's gonna make it. Yeah, he's gonna get him. Come on. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That was okay. deploy move in a little bit more again we're LRM we're an LRM boat so we need to use our range to our advantage here right doesn't really make sense to be an LRM boat and be like so close to the action you want to stay in the back so there's a guy over here hopefully he'll come around the corner we can pop him nope okay get on deploy Hopefully this guy will help me. Yeah, he's in a demolisher. That should take out that harasser pretty quick. Yeah, okay. Damn it. I was in a good position there. Yeah, so that harasser probably ran at a... Uh, passive that's why i couldn't see him on my radar so that was pretty good on his move or his part i should say what's that nothing okay that's uh aircraft again this is like battlefield there's aircraft here okay he's flying pretty high above shit so i need to keep an eye on this guy Not sure if I'm going to get that guy. I'll scare him away, for sure, because as the missiles are chasing him, he'll keep him on... Because um, on his screen, it'll say radar lock, like missile lock, so he'll just have to fly away. So I'll keep him away for a little bit. I'm going to use this rock here as cover. Okay, something just popped up in my radar. Oh. Oof, 
fired at me. Damn it, the rock again. My sixth sense is telling me I should probably get back away a little bit more. I need to see a little bit more of the battlefield. So I think this hill is going to be a nice little position. I think, is this not a repair bay? I just think I can repair here. Yes, I can. So how you repair is you just power down. So we're just going to test here. Yeah, it's a repair bay. Good. I press P to power up. Can I buy more? No, I can't buy. Just a repair bay. That's fine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as cover. I'm going to stay at active radar. Zoom in. I'm just going to wait for heads to pop up. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will move in. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, there's some stuff over there. Yeah, he's over there. Gonna speed up a bit, get on this hill. Hopefully, this guy pops out. It's true that brawlers see uh, more of the action. I won't lie. It's been a while since I played this game, so. Oh. Looks like he might want to say hello. There we go. Oh, that was a good hit. He's going to run away now. People don't like those uh, missile locks, man. They're scary. Alright guys, I think I'm going to cut it here. Um, in the next episode, I think I'll continue on and, uh, you know, use the LRM boat and get into the action somewhere. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.